How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up default effects or plugins on new tracks. Now by default, we make a new track like this. There's no plugin on here. See, it's empty, but we can change that. We could have it by default having plugins on the track already with the settings that we choose. So let me show you how to do that. Let's delete this one. Let's go to this track, right click it, and let's choose an EQ. Now in my previous video, I set up a default preset right here called Start. So this is how this one opened up. Now let's add a compressor. And again, it's the same thing. It opens up the preset I save by default. But again, we can change all that. Let's close these two and open it up this way so we can see them both together. Or as Reaper calls it, an effects chain. We have the EQ and then the compressor. And let's say we wanted to set it up so these plugins and these settings are on every new track. Let's change the preset for now. Just so we can see how it works, let's turn on the high pass filter and set it to about 100. Let's go to our compressor and change the threshold a bit back to the default, make the ratio a little bit lower, just so you can see the settings are saved. And now to save this as a default for every new track, just right click over here, go to effects chains and choose the option down here. Save all effects, which is the EQ and compressor as default chain for new tracks. So if we choose that, this is gonna open up on every new track with the order of the plugins and their settings, even if we haven't saved them as presets. So let's create a new track. And we see automatically, this is green, letting us know this plugin's already on this track. We'll open it up, and there it is. Our EQ with the high pass already set, and our compressor with the threshold that we changed, and the ratio set a bit lower. So this is gonna work for every new track. Let's create another one. Right here, the same thing. It opens up with these plugins and this settings already on the new track. And we could change this at any time. Let's delete these. Let's go back to this. And let's say we only wanted to use the EQ, not the compressor. We'll delete this one. And let's change the setting to have a high shelf as well like this. Let's adjust this one a bit, a little lower. And let's say we wanted to set this up as our default effects or plugin on every new track. Now it's only one plugin, but it could still be a chain. We'll right click over here, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects, which is one effect, as default chain for new tracks. So we'll choose that, we'll close it, make a new track, and it's already there. So just like that, we can change it. Make a new one, same thing. With the plugin or plugins and their settings. Now if we want to delete this at any point and not have the plugins already on new tracks, we could do that too. Let's delete these two tracks. Let's go back here and delete this plugin. So now there's no plugins in this track. And if we right click this, we could save this as our default. Effects chains, save all effects as default chain for new tracks. And now every new track we create has no plugins on it. It's empty again. One other thing I want to show you. Let's add our EQ. And a compressor. And let's open it up this way again. And now let's adjust this once again. Over here, maybe this. Go to the compressor, adjust this, maybe this. And let's save this as a new track default. So now once again, these two plugins and their settings 
I'm going to be on all the new tracks. Make a new track, and they're here. But at any point, if we mess up how we set it up, or accidentally remove the plugins, we can get it right back to our default by right-clicking over here, go to Effects Chains, and choose to load the default track Effects Chain right from here, and it opens it right back up. Right back how we set it up when we saved it. So anyway, that's how you create default effects or plugins on new tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.